rare supernova remnants found in Egypt. A rock found in the Egyptian desert, called Hypatia, may be the first tangible evidence of a type IA supernova explosion found on Earth. These rare supernovae are some of the most energetic events in the universe. In 1996, an unusual meteorite was found in the desert of southwestern Egypt. The stone was named after Hypatia of Alexandria, an ancient researcher who studied philosophy, mathematics and astronomy. The first analyzes of this 30-gram meteorite surprised the researchers. Because the composition of the stone was unlike any known meteorite, the researchers found numerous anomalies in the isotopic composition of the noble gases, nitrogen and carbon. In addition, the presence and arrangement of various elements and their proportions suggested a unique find. A scientific investigation led by researchers at the University of Johannesburg has uncovered unusual chemical clues in a small piece of space rock that suggest its origin. The researchers pieced together the information they gained and concluded that Hypatia contains fragments of a cloud of dust and gas produced by a type IA supernova explosion in the distant past. Scientists say that over billions of years, this mix of dust and gas turned into a solid, eventually forming the parent object from which Hypatia originated. The scenario proposed by scientists in the publication that appeared in the journal, Icarus, starts with a star, a red giant, which, after the cessation of nuclear reactions, collapsed into a white dwarf. This event took place in a nebula, a giant cloud of dust. The white dwarf found itself in a binary system with a second star from which it was stealing material. As a result, it gained mass so much that it exploded as a type IA supernova. Type IA supernovae are the most energetic of all known types of supernovae. They are characterized by the fact that there is no line of hydrogen and helium in their spectrum, but there is a strong line of silicon. The gas atoms formed after the explosion cooled down over time and began to stick to the particles of the dust cloud. The scenario presented by the researchers assumes that the resulting bubble of a mix of gas and dust never interacted with other dust clouds. Millions of years passed, and eventually the gas and dust cloud began to form objects like Hypatia's parent object. At some point, this mother rock began to rush towards the Earth, where it finally shattered. Scholars assume that the stone found in the desert must be one of many fragments of the original object. Add, we can say that we kind of caught supernova IA live because the gas atoms formed after the explosion were caught in the dust cloud that eventually formed Hypatia's parent body, says Jan. Kramers of the University of Johannesburg. If this hypothesis is correct, Hypatia's stone would be the first tangible evidence found on Earth for a type IA supernova explosion. Scientists believe this process took place billions of years ago in the nebula from which our planetary system formed. Our findings contradict the conventional view that the dust that formed our solar system was thoroughly mixed, Kramers said. The above scenario is not the result of the vivid imagination of South African astronomers. It was created thanks to the conclusions drawn from the study of the space rock using various analytical techniques. In 2013, a study of argon isotopes found in Hypatia showed that the rock was not formed on Earth. A 2015 study of noble gas isotopes showed that it may not have come from any known type of meteorite or comet. In 2018, a team of Polish scientists published various analyzes that included the discovery of a mineral, nickel phosphide, not previously found in any object in our solar system, leading to the conclusion that Hypatia's parent object came from a nebula older than our solar system. At this stage, 
Hypatia proved difficult to analyze further. Scientists needed more powerful equipment that would not destroy the tiny sample and would allow for more discoveries. They used the micro PIXE, particle induced X ray emission, method. Instead of studying all the amazing anomalies that Hypatia presents, we wanted to see if there was a consistent chemical formula in the stone, says Kramers. Thanks to the micro PIXE method, which is a very sensitive method and involves the excitation of X-rays using a beam of protons, the scientists got more data for analysis. It is a technique that does not destroy the analyzed sample. It is now routinely used by geologists, archaeologists, art restorers and other researchers to help answer questions about the origin, age or authenticity of a given material. Excitation of X-rays using a proton beam, scientists got more data for analysis. It is a technique that does not destroy the analyzed sample. It is now routinely used by geologists, archaeologists, art restorers and other researchers to help answer questions about the origin, age or authenticity of a given material. We have identified 15 different elements in Hypatia with much greater precision and accuracy. This gave us the ingredients we needed and we could start the next process of analyzing all the data, says Dr. Georgi Belianin. The first important clue from this method was the surprisingly low level of silicon in Hypatia. Silicon, along with chromium and manganese, accounted for less than 1%. Composition. In addition, high levels of iron, sulfur, phosphorus, copper and vanadium were puzzling. We found a consistent pattern of elements that is completely different from anything in the solar system. Objects in the asteroid belt and meteors do not match either. So we looked beyond the solar system says Kramers. The researchers compared the resulting pattern of elemental concentrations in Hypatia with what might be expected in interstellar dust in our Milky Way galaxy arm. We tested whether the pattern we get from the average interstellar dust in our Milky Way arm matches what we see in Hypatia. Again, there was no similarity, Kramers admits. As a result, Scientists have ruled out four possible Hypatia origins. The space rock did not form on Earth, was not part of any known type of comet or meteorite, did not form from dust in the solar system, or from interstellar dust. The next simplest possible explanation for Hypatia's element concentration pattern would be a red giant. Red giants are common in the universe. But Hypatia contains too much iron, too little silicon, and too low concentrations of heavy elements heavier than iron, which rules out red giants as well. Another suspect to consider was a type 2 supernova. These types of supernovae spew out a lot of iron. They are also a relatively common type of supernova. But again, the data obtained from the research ruled out this suspect as well. A type 2 supernova was highly unlikely to be the source of strange minerals such as nickel phosphide present in the meteorite. There was also too much iron in Hypatia compared to silicon and calcium. Researching the origin of the space rock. Scientists only have to check whether Hypatia was not created in one of the most energetic explosions in the universe, a type IA supernova. It's a rare kind of cosmic explosion. It happens, scholars estimate, only once or twice in a century. This type of supernova produces huge amounts of iron, and researchers indicate that most of the iron in the universe comes from such supernovae. Some type IA supernovae leave very distinctive clues behind. A red giant collapses into a white dwarf at the end of its life. These stars are usually stable for very long periods and are unlikely to explode. However, there are exceptions to this. 
The white dwarf may begin to pick up material from its binary companion star. We can say that the white dwarf eats its companion. Eventually it becomes so heavy, hot, and unstable that it explodes as a type IA supernova. As predicted by accepted theoretical models. During the explosion of supernova IA, unusual patterns of element concentration should develop. In addition, the white dwarf that explodes in supernova IA is not simply blown to pieces, it is, as the authors of the paper put it, torn apart into atoms. The material from supernova IA is, spilled, into space as gas atoms. After searching the scientific literature, the researchers agreed that this was the best match they could find. All of the data and theoretical models for supernova IA show a much higher proportion of iron compared to silicon and calcium than the type 2 supernova models. In this regard, the data obtained from the Hypatia study match the data and models of supernova IA, says Kramers. In total, 8 of the 15 elements analyzed fall within the predicted ratio ranges. However, not all of the elements analyzed in Hypatia match the predictions. In six of them, the proportions were 10 to 100 times higher than the ranges predicted by theoretical models of type IA supernovae. Since a white dwarf is formed from a dying red giant, Hypatia may have inherited these element ratios for six of the 15 analyzed. This phenomenon has been observed with white dwarfs in other studies, adds Kramers. The presence of dogs in the neighborhood can reduce the crime rate for all of us. Safety in the area where we live is extremely important. The effectiveness of police actions is often raised in this context. But some things also depend on us. And as it turns out, there are also some interesting dependencies that can discourage criminals from conducting their activities in our estate. If you want to look for a safe place to live, choose one where there are a lot of dogs. In new research, researchers have found that neighborhoods with more pets have lower homicide, robbery and assault rates compared to areas without dogs. The results suggest that people walking their pets are essentially patrolling their neighborhood and seeing when suspicious people are in the area. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Social Forces. Ohio State University sociology professor Christopher Browning recalls that sociologists have long believed that a combination of mutual trust and proper, local oversight, can effectively deter criminals. What role does trust play here? Well, it acts as a deterrent, because it lets criminals know that in an emergency situation, residents will help each other. According to Niccolo Pinchak, who led the research, they have a sense of collective effectiveness in the context of what is happening in their area. An important issue in this context is to determine the level of mutual trust of the inhabitants of a given estate. As part of the research carried out in Columbus, the capital of Ohio, an attempt was made to determine this level. As part of it, residents were asked to assess the extent to which in their neighborhood, people on the street can be trusted. Research has shown that, compared to other settlements, those whose inhabitants trust each other to a greater extent are less likely to experience homicides, robberies and assaults. Data on the crime rate in Columbus in 2014-2016 were taken into account here. What role does the fact that a large number of residents of the estate have dogs play in ensuring safety? To recall Niccolo Pinchak again, trust won't help enough if we don't have enough people on the streets. And they are there thanks to the dogs they go out for walks with.
Studies have shown that those neighborhoods with a high level of mutual trust, where residents had more dogs in their homes, there were half as many homicides and as much as two-thirds fewer robberies in public places. It is emphasized that dog owners often see each other, talk to each other and thanks to this they are better versed in what is going on around them. As the saying goes, they have eyes around their heads to a greater extent and can be said to patrol the area noticing suspicious units. It was also found that a greater number of dogs in the estate also has an impact on a significantly lower number of crimes against property, primarily burglaries. Why is this happening? Dogs and, above all, their barking are noticeable, also for criminals. And it acts as a deterrent. Why would a burglar, for example, expose himself to being easily alerted by a dog, or even worse? have to deal directly with his fans. He will probably choose the easier housing estate. Importantly, it turned out that the cumulative effect of trust and dogs is even more important and has a greater impact on the level of safety in the area than even, for example, the number of young people in a given housing estate or the socioeconomic conditions in which its inhabitants live.